Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. It's always so beautiful having you here. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I appreciate every subscription. We are growing in number. We are nearing the 200 mark and I'm so, so grateful. Thank you for every comment. I love, love reading your comments. I learn a lot from them and they help me to grow even as a person. Thank you for the shares. I really appreciate it. It's been a while since I shared a video. The last video I shared was the one on my birthday where I shared my transformational journey, the story of my transformation. And I'm so grateful for the uh, positive feedback I got. Lots of you telling me, thank you so much, Abby, for sharing your story. You have inspired me to take action into becoming the best version of me. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful that that video had that effect on you. In the same video, I also gave an offer to all my coaching packages and thank you for those who have trusted me with their, their transformational journey and signed up and I believe you're enjoying it's so amazing watching you blossom into the beautiful butterflies that you're meant to be a lot has been going on in the background I have had collaborations one with nutri food and health uh, my sister Claire and I shared a live video where I shared more about coaching and what coaching really is and people feedback has been positive they have learned a lot about coaching and some of you just showing interest I also have had collaboration with uh, official JYS TV which uh, together we've been going to schools and churches and speaking and this video is part of uh, that we went to speak in a school at uh, Njoro in Nakuru County and we have had lots and lots of positive feedback uh, students saying their lives have been transformed as a result of that so I thought let me share it here so that you as my subscribers and followers may uh, just uh, watch it and learn from it you could share with a nephew you could share with a niece you could share with a neighbor somebody who could learn from these grown-ups are also saying this is so informative so welcome watch it enjoy it and learn let's keep learning together thank you so much if you're new here consider subscribing to this channel Con uh, consider uh, hitting the notification bell so that the next time I upload a video you are the, uh, among the first to know. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the video. Give it up for Coach Abby, Blessed Abby, from Abby Blessed House. This is the son. I'm his, I'm his uncle. He's called Bruce. The your father is a man. If you joke with him, anafanya tshu. Lakini tunashukuru bwana. It's great. We are grateful in Jesus' name. So she's going to talk about dare to dream, dare to dream, and she might touch a little bit on what. She spoke on yesterday. The challenge we had yesterday were the rains, but I went home, listened to the whole message she taught. It was so clear on YouTube. Kindly take your phone, go to YouTube, official JYS TV. This is our pulpit. It has our name here. JYS means Jesus Worshippers and Intercessors Sanctuary. JYS, J W A I S. So on YouTube, write the word official, then write the word. JYS, then put space and like, write TV, kindly subscribe, and she has also her YouTube channel, uh, it's called Abby's Coaching House. God bless you. Amen. Karibu sana. Then after you finish, I'll continue from there. So thank you. Thank you so much, uh, man of God. We call him, I saved him in my phone, Apostle Gideon, before he was even given the title. So... As his elder sister, I prophesied and I thank God for that. So thank you so much for sharing this platform with me. Once again, I appreciate the school uh, management for this opportunity. We are in for a life 
life-changing time. Tell your neighbor, we are in for a life-changing time. So welcome. Yesterday we had an issue with the rains, so maybe we didn't get everything, but we thank God for what we got. And today, the 22nd of July, 2023, you are here under this sun. I pray that it's going to be that day that our lives are transformed into the best versions of ourselves. Let me first uh, thank our first speaker. It is so daring to come and tell your story of how you are leading from behind when your daughter is seated here. Si huwa tunambiwa watu tulikuwa number one. Mimi si jawai kuwa number last. But it is such stories that will help us to transform our lives. And so I will also tell you mine, which his is even better. He used to be position 54 and 55. Me nikiwa grade class one then. I used to be 99 and 98. And it was, and I used to go home and I was very happy. I used to tell mom, Mom, niko na number nyingi, niko na number 99. You can imagine, I, 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 to me, that was an achievement. But then I remember, I had actually to repeat the class two. And I remember one teacher, two teachers, they called me and told me, Abigail, you have a future, you are joking. And that changed my life. And they told me to promise them that I was going to be serious. And from the first term, I, I, the, the, that first term of my second year in class two, I got to position five, then position three, then position two, and I always played around those positions. So that is to encourage you that your position or wherever you are is not cast on stone. Things can change. And then I went on and got to class eight and I sat my KCPE exams in 1998, right here in Darugo Primary School. So I know how to walk for kilometers, to run, to cough in the morning. So I know all that. But I thank God because I went through that and I am here today to encourage you. And so in class eight, I didn't get that grade, the, the, the marks that I really wanted. You know, then uh, the marking was out of 700. So on the Okume Peter, you had to be 500 and above. So I didn't get to the 500 mark and I felt very disappointed because you know you've always been up there. But I remember when I went to high school, because now I didn't make it to the national high schools like I would have wanted to. I remember I sat at a corner in a, in a class, Form 1B, I remember. And I promised myself that from this school, I will come out with a better grade. And I got focused and worked. And that took me to, uh, Igaton University where I did agriculture. So I have transformed from farming animals and crops to now farming in the human world. So that is what I do now. I left my job to do this. It's my passion. I just love to see a girl who was not believing in herself get to a point where they begin to believe in themselves. That is what I am passionate about because I was that girl. I remember one time I loved singing in class two. And one teacher who I had to really forgive, you know, teachers have power over our lives. He told me, go sit and never sing again. You cannot sing. <laughs> and, and I remember that killed my self-esteem. And the self-esteem issue is such a problem to many people. You can't, you, I, I got to a point where I could not believe in myself. I had so many issues with my self-belief, my self-love. And 
that had to change. So for me to stand here is because I have undergone transformation. I have walked a journey which makes me now courageous to stand here. I, I could not do this years back, but I thank God I can now. And so that is why I, am, uh, I decided to do coaching. I am the founder of Abby's Coaching House, where we speak to lives to help you realize the potential that is hidden in you that you cannot see with your own eyes. So that is what we will be doing today. And your teachers requested me yesterday that we repeat the visualization exercise we did yesterday. And so I'm going to ask the band. There was a, a song, um, an instrumental that we were to play. Kindly, let's put it on. So we are going to do some form of imagination. The reason we will do this is imagination is what brings our reality. So I don't know, are we set? What you keep, and all of us keep imagining something, even now you are imagining something. But now I want us to train ourselves to imagine positive things, to imagine great things. That is what we want to challenge ourselves to do. And so we will do a small visualization. Visualization is where you see yourself where you want to be, where you want to be tomorrow, the next minute, several years from today, and then it works in transforming your mind to see that reality come true. So I want you to close your eyes, every eye closed, every eye closed. I want you to imagine yourself 10 years from now. I want you to see yourself that you are through with your um, four years of study in either this school or the, the visiting schools. And you have done so well. You have gotten your A grade, your B plus, your B, that grade that you know and you know that you can get because we all have different potentials. And people are carrying you. They are carrying you on their shoulders. They are carrying posters, celebrating you, writing, your name is written on them. And you are being celebrated. And then you get your admission to your university of choice. You get there, do your course of choice, you get admitted and you are with your parents. See yourself right now walking through the roads of that university. Your parents are helping you carry your foldable bag. They are helping you carry your suitcase. And you, have, you are excited. They are telling everybody, see my daughter, see my son. He has made it to the university. He's even the first to make it in our whole clan. And you get there, you study, you get your first class honors, your second upper, and you graduate. And people come, your whole village is there at your graduation. They are celebrating you, the chief is there, the DC is there, all the people you know are there to celebrate you. See that moment, feel the moment, feel the excitement. And then now imagine yourself getting the job of choice, the career of choice, the engineer, the pilot, the doctor, the nurse, the business person. 
you have your private jet you marry in this beautiful wedding and we all come for your wedding your principal is there to see you your deputy principal you have called them to come and see and then you have your family and you have your choice car your beautiful car and you're driving to Mombasa for a holiday and then you reach there and say no let's go somewhere else you go to the airport and board a plane and go out of this country and just enjoy a holiday a holiday in Dubai a holiday in Norway and you are excited feel the excitement and now welcome back to Njoro Centro <laughs> How was the journey? How did you feel as you traveled the journey? And so today, we want to see how can we get to that future because it's a possible future. And so I have titled my, my message, Dare to Dream. And so what is a dream? And a dream is that thing in your heart that you feel you can attain. You are, you are there and you know that if I did my best, I can have this. And there are three types of dreamers. There are dreamers who dream and achieve their dreams. There are those who dream and never achieve their dreams. And there are those who have no dream at all. I hope we don't have them here. But then, there is a distance between your dream and achieving them. And something happens in the middle. So we want to know what is that that happens in the middle. When a child is young, if you ask them what they would become, they say anything. They say, I'll become an astronaut, I'll go to the moon. They say, I'll be a pilot. They say, I'll be a great footballer. My son says, I'll be a great footballer, and I tell him, go for it. I'll be there cheering you. But then things happen along the way. Maybe the environment and people stop dreaming. People stop imagining. They begin to live below their possible potential. And so today we want to know what is this that has, that has stopped you from dreaming? And let me ask for three, three gentlemen kindly, the three of you, come. Please run, we only have a short time. So one to stand there, one here, and another one here. So, this one here is you. And here is your destination. But this is a wall. Please face this way. This is a wall. And for some of you, the wall is not it's just a slight wall. But for some, it's such a thick wall, they are wondering, 
how can I go past this wall? For some, it's a family background. You look at your family background and think, really? Me becoming the pilot? No. Me the doctor? No. Me becoming the teacher? No. So we keep coming. We come and come and this wall keeps stopping us. But it is possible to smash this wall. This wall can be the limiting beliefs that you have. Maybe as a girl, you feel that as a, as a lady, I cannot become this and I cannot become that. But is that true? Is it true that there, there is anything that can stop you from becoming what you want to be? It's not true. So what we want to do is remove the wall and get you to your dream. So he's now at his dream. Clap for him. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what walls have you raised on your path to attaining your dream? You know the walls. You know the walls that you have put ahead of you. So it's time to smash your walls. We all have different dreams. How many here would imagine that they can own a private jet? Wow, amazing. How many here would imagine that they can own a Mercedes Benz? Eish. Faka wanasema eish. How many here dream of a beautiful wedding? Please invite me to be the, a guest. <laughs> oh, I think Nitakua MC. <laughs> I would be delighted. But then, what is that that is standing in between you and your dream? That is what you have to smash. That is what you have to kill and destroy completely. And yesterday we talked of three things. We talked of choices, the choices that you make. And our first speaker has just spoken of things you can stop yourself and hold from enjoying now so that you enjoy tomorrow. There are choices that you will make that will either help you to go to Dubai or never to step out of Njoro. There are choices that you will make that will either help you to move your parents from the house you're in now to a bigger place or keep you confined there forever. So what choices are you making? What choices are you making? I remember one thing my dad used to tell us is that you meet a young man and he tells you he dunia yote sijaiona msichana kama wewe and the only word he has ever gone is njoro shuadi. Why don't you wait and leave this place? It's not a problem, it's not a mistake to get someone from here. But then, make sure it's at the right time and at the right place. Enjoy being young. Enjoy the privileges you have now. And we also talked of mindset. 
there is someone who goes to class knowing your maths mimi ni e material anyone who believes they are e materials tuinue mkono na pande ya chini okay anyone who believes they are e materials and yes you are but you have to work for it see yourself getting that a and work together with your teachers so that you get there so the choices you make your mindset and the time how you spend your time i told you yesterday time is one non renewable resource a minute passes it's gone you are 21 today for example you will never be 21 again you are 18 today you will never be 18 again and so how you use your time how, what you watch what you do where you visit is something that can change your life for the best and i want us to read romans Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and it says do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind as a coach i speak to your mind My brother as an apostle will speak to your spirit and your soul. I speak to your mind. I call myself a mind hacker. I hack your mind. Kama ulikuwa unaenda njia ya kupotea I try to change you to the other direction. And the Bible talks of us renewing our minds. We can be in the Christian union praying, fasting, singing, but our minds are defeated unless we raise up against those minds and see ourselves above and that's why the visualization exercise is an important exercise because it i want you to practice it from today again and again in the morning when you wake up see beyond your home see beyond where you are see your future and again begin to be, behave like that person how many here would want to be ceos of a company how many would want to be doctors engineers now let me ask what time does a ceo wake up What time does a CEO wake up? So um, uh, there is a small clip that I want us to play in that in that in line to that. Because you cannot behave like the future you want to be in your future. You have to begin to behave like that future today. If you are the kind of student that your teacher follows up that you stress your teacher you need to rethink that because time flies and we all know that and nowadays it seems like it has bought new wings Proverbs chapter 20 verse 11 
it says even a child is known by his actions by whether his conduct is right and pure how a child behaves today can tell you the kind of future that this child is, will have if you are consistent with what you do and do the right thing you are sure to have results so let's listen to this small clip by uh, Michelle Obama practicing who you are going to be so if you getting up late and you're trifling and you're not getting your homework done that's what you're practicing if you know you're complaining that's what you're practicing if you're a whiner you're practicing being a whiner if you're spoiled you're practicing that that doesn't that doesn't just go away you know and so you have to start practicing who you want to be do you want to be dependable then you have to be dependable mm -hmm. if you want people to trust you then you have to be trustworthy yeah and you you and you have to start those habits very early it's just like speaking correct english don't practice the other stuff because you're not going to get a job that way so practice who you want to be every single day um, and that's what I, I think kids need to do who don't have mentors in their lives find that role model somewhere out there even if you read it in a book you know find that inspiration so it all comes from practice practice the person you want to be ask yourself today who do I want to become my son will tell you I call them by the names of things they want to become I call this one son of mine that we call Mr. President and we, we call him that because we want him to see himself so I ask him do presidents behave like that he says no so behave like one I have one we call an engineer so I ask, do engineers behave like that? And even him, I ask him, do serious footballers behave like that? And he tells me he has a six pack. So, <laughs> yeah, because we have developed an exercise routine together. We exercise together. I am a fan of exercise. Phys physical fitness is something I love. And so, you have to begin practicing today what you want to be in future. A story is told of two young men as I come to a close. These two young men both had a father. The father was drunk, totally drunk. He would come home and there is nothing they would talk and the father died. One son became a billionaire he had everything the other son became a drunkard just like his father and in an interview when they were asked how did you turn out like that both of them said with a father like that how else would you turn out two turnouts the same father different turnouts so let me ask you, what is that in your life that you feel is an excuse for you not getting to the person that you want to be? And so as we close, I want you to raise your right hand. We are going to make a commitment. I want you to say this and mean it in your heart. I commit to work towards becoming the best version of me. I realize that I can be whatever I want to be. I do not need permission from anyone. I do not need permission from anyone. 
Nothing in my present hinders me from becoming what I am meant to be. And so from today, I am the CEO of my own life. The choices I make, the places I go to, the decisions I make are in line with the person I want to be. I am more than a conqueror. Congratulations. So, CEOs, doctors, engineers, go for it. You can be that which you want to be. Apostle Gideon. Wow, let me give you a hug. Wow, thank you. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. That's awesome. Praise the name of Jesus. We are so proud of you, uh, Blessed Abby. And kindly take your notebook, write somewhere Abby's Coaching House. Abby's Coaching House. That is A double B, then an apostrophe, then an S, then the word coaching. Okay, sorry. Okay, Abby's Coaching House is A double B. Y, then an apostrophe, then S, then put a space, right? Coaching, then house. That is our YouTube channel. When you arrive home, get any smartphone anywhere. You'll find this message. Subscribe to her channel. Are we together? And right now we are also live on official JYS TV. Write it somewhere. Official. That is the word official then space then j after official write j w a i s then space then write tv that's our youtube channel we are live right now in jesus name